Welcome back to Stray Trains. In this video, we're going to talk a little bit about what night network services are really like, plus talk about a little known fact about how you can see and ride a Comminge or Siemens weekly through Southern Cross Platform 10, which are for typically Burnley Group services which are only run by Extrapolis Trains. Hope you enjoy the video. So first up, what exactly is night network? These are extra train services that only run on Friday and Saturday nights every week, plus also on New Year's Eve, to help everyone get in and out of the city and enjoy their weekend. During the week, all of the final services to depart Flinders Street will depart before 12.30am the following day. So effectively, any train from 12.30 onwards will be part of the night network services. From suburban stations, generally between 11pm and 12am, the first night network service will depart, depending on the distance from the city as the main factor. Then night network will run till about 4.30am, where generally that is about the time where the first services resume on a typical timetable day. Sometimes it's 4am, sometimes closer to 5am though, depending on the specific line. So in essence, night network services are generally the trains that run or originate at a time roughly between 12.30 and 4.30am on a Friday and Saturday night, which is technically Saturday morning and Sunday morning. So what are some differences between normal services and night network services? Well, there aren't really that many. In fact, you wouldn't really know that you're on a normal night service as opposed to a specific night network services, typically speaking. However, there are a few minor alterations. On a normal night, after last train, the City Loop and Southern Cross stations will close. Despite there being 24-hour services on Friday and Saturday night, the City Loop stations plus Southern Cross close. So this means during night network, no trains run via the loop, and no trains will stop at Southern Cross. This will lead to all Upfield, Craigieburn, Sunbury, Werribee and Williamstown services being stops all except Southern Cross services. Then the Burnley Group, Clifton Hill Group, Dandenong Group, and of course Northern Group that typically run through the loop will run as direct services to or from Flinders Street. But maybe the coolest aspect of Night Network is, oddly enough, the upfield line. All up upfield trains, essentially all Flinders Street direct bound trains on the upfield line, will take an interesting path into the city. After departing North Melbourne, they will of course run express through Southern Cross onto Flinders Street, before terminating there. However, when they run Express to Flinders Street via Southern Cross, they will utilise Platform 10 at Southern Cross and then the Burnley Viaduct from Southern Cross to Flinders Street, which all other times would only ever see extrapolis trains. This means that if you do want to ride a Comminge on the Burnley line, or Siemens for that matter, you still can. Yes, I know it's only Southern Cross to Flinders Street, but hey, it's better than nothing. What's it like travelling on Nine Network? Well, generally speaking, it is busy up until about the 1 or 2 a.m. train. Then it gets very quiet. This is probably because most people leave the city around 1 or 2 a.m. on the down trains. So, there's a good chance at about 3 a.m. you can have a carriage to yourself, maybe even three carriages to yourself. It can even get eerie at this time, especially if you're at an outer station waiting for a train as you might be the only one there. In terms of how well do train runs, they generally run very well during night network. Quite often these trains run on time and even a minute early because there are so few people that board and disembark. Sometimes no one is even at the quieter stations which will save journey time. So if you are wanting to ride at this crazy hour or crazy hours, make sure that you do get to your station a few minutes before scheduled departure just to be safe. Otherwise, you will be waiting a whole nother hour. And finally, maybe a little bit of a discussion of my personal opinion on Night Network. Let me know what you think, but I think overall it is something that is very beneficial. Especially because a lot of people do use this to go into the city and then return from the city after having a night out. People might not be in the best state to drive home. And with Ubers and taxis and whatnot being quite expensive, public transport is a much more affordable way to return home, especially if you live quite far away from the city, which definitely does improve safety and helps for people in terms of from the financial aspect. As going into the city, spending time there can be quite an expensive outing. 
Moreover, PSOs are around for the entire night network as generally a second shift of PSOs will start and man stations during night network. They will be at all staff stations or premium stations plus some other minor stations. So overall, I do think the night network is quite beneficial. Once again, yes, every hour is not the most ideal frequency, but the demand really isn't there for any more services. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this video and this quick rundown of the night network operation. Have you had any interest in night network journeys? Well, let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, and I think we'll leave it at that. Cheers.